Oh, it is going to be just pleasant outside, even warmer temperatures compared to today. But the one thing that they are going to have to deal with is some slightly higher pollen counts. Take a look at this. We can see the pollen forecast shows just ever so slightly higher pollen counts compared to today for tomorrow and then on Saturday. Well, quite a few people, including myself, are going to be sneezing their head off as there is going to be a lot of pollen extreme for the category on Saturday with the main source coming from trees. Take a look at this. Upper level future cast, it shows high pressure. It's in control and it's not going anywhere, at least for tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to see even nicer weather, but low pressure is on the way and we will start to see that work its way into the area later in the day on Sunday. Monday eventually into Monday and that's going to allow for some cooler temperatures to sink in. However, it's not the coldest temperatures that we're going to see, but if we take a look to the Pacific Northwest, we can see another low pressure system heading our way. That is going to cause temperatures to fall even more by the time we get to the middle of the week and we'll be looking at some wet weather potential associated with those, with those low pressure systems. A little bit of a tongue twister there. Look at the radar right now. We can see pretty clear radar. However, if you take a look near Ely, we can see that there are a few lighter showers out that direction right now. And the future cast shows those showers, but it also shows them dissipating fairly quickly. A little bit of cloud cover associated with it, but mostly clear skies overnight tonight. And then we'll be looking at pretty much a clear radar until we get to likely Monday. We take a look and we can see that system that's moving in from the south. We're going to be looking at a little bit of wet weather associated with it. Early Monday morning is when that'll start and it'll continue into the afternoon and evening. Slight chance on Tuesday and then Wednesday we'll be looking at that wet weather potential continuing as that secondary system moves through and then maybe even that wet weather could continue towards the end of the week. However, that's still several days in advance. Let's go ahead and take a look at temperatures out there right now, mainly in the 60s. However, St. George still in the low 80s. First 80 degree day for St. George this year so far. A little bit behind schedule, but not too far behind. Lows tonight show 51 for Salt Lake City, 31 for Evanston, 52 St. George, 43 for Kennebec, then 41 Hanksville, 45 Moab and Heist. Tomorrow show the 80s for Hanksville, Moab, St. George, Salt Lake City, almost there, but highs topping out around 78 degrees. Here's a look at the Wasatch Front seven day forecast. It shows upper 70s tomorrow, mid 70s Saturday. Then that cooler air starts to sink in by Sunday, upper 60s, then the 50s Monday and beyond with only a high of 50 on Thursday. Then for St. George, temperatures a bit more mild, mid 80s tomorrow, low 80s on Saturday, 71 on Sunday and Monday. Isolated showers are beginning and continue on Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures in the upper 60s by Thursday. All right, thank you, Garrett.